I'm really excited about this one. We have this really cool rooster image today. Now, I linked the uh, original image in the uh, description below, so you can go ahead and download it. Just click on that link and follow along with me. It's a great way of learning. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's very simple and easy to do. A few steps and we'll be done. But you're going to have a good time. Enjoy the ride. Uh, this is a really cool little rooster here, and he has a lot of attitude. So are you ready to go? Without any further ado, let's get started. We're starting out here in Photoshop. Now, all we need to do is uh, duplicate our background layer so we can work non-destructively. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to rename that layer uh, Studio 2. Uh, just so we know what we are doing. And we will launch Topaz Studio 2 and get started. I like to call Topaz Studio 2 my creative toolbox because it really helps me to uh, get moving in creative type directions here. This is going to be pretty easy today. We're going to go ahead and add filter. Go to one of my favorites and that's the impression filter here. And uh, first thing I want to do is go the whole way down to where it says texture. And let's uh, go ahead and click on original. That gets rid of some of the uh, canvas uh, background like uh, that shows through. Some of the canvas will show through and that'll eliminate that by just showing us the original image instead of canvas going through. Kind of where the paint strokes are missing, I guess you could say. Now we have our choice here of number of strokes, low, medium, or high. Now here's high. But I think I'm going to go with uh, a low number of strokes. It's going to be a little more abstract. I want a very nice artistic image here today. And let's uh, let's play with our uh, paint strokes. Uh, this is it defaults with stroke type 01. So let's try some different strokes. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Got to get a little creative here. All right, that one's not bad. Type 06. Let's start out with that. Let's play with that a little bit. Now let's come down to our, usually the, the next adjustment I'm going to get is either the brush size or the paint opacity. Now I like the paint opacity because when I pull it up, you can really see the paint starting to show through there. See that? Now let me go back and let me go to a different stroke here. Okay, yeah, see? Now that I pulled that opacity up, I don't like that one so much, so... I think I'm going to go with type 03 because I like how the feathers are looking here with that with that paint uh, stroke type. So, and the opacity again. Let's see if we can pull that up some more. Yeah, I'm going to pull that up a good bit. And now we can play with the brush size. Do we want a larger brush size? See how things get really crazy? Don't want a real large brush size. So let's pull that brush size back a little bit. I want a nice whimsical painterly look to this. Maybe something like that. That looks really good. And I really like what's happening out around the background here. Okay. So now let's come down and um, let's play with the stroke width. We can make that stroke wider or we can make it more narrow. And... And where do I know where to put these things? I really don't. This is all about experimenting, guys. Have fun. This is where it's really at. See how the paint starts to shoot out away from the rooster here when I take the stroke length up real wide or real long, I should say. So you got to be careful with that. So, so play around, experiment around with it, get it looking just right. And I think somewhere around in there. I don't like how this stroke's going up here, but when I take this back into Photoshop, I think I'll I'll just use like a healing brush and get rid of that. But all in all, I think that looks really good. Now we're going to move down to the painting progress slider. I love this because when an artist is making a painting, you know, he starts out maybe blocking color in and then he adds more colors on top and it goes through different uh, prog you know, progressive stages of the painting. And so that's what this uh, painting progress simulates, the different stages. So you get to a point where you like, and when you like it, you just stop. How about 69? How's that for splitting hairs? 69 is it. I think that looks really nice. I'm going to settle with that one. I think that looks really good. Now, if we want to, we can come up to the layer mask here and let's get a brush and let's just maybe take a little bit of the painterly off. 
of the rooster's head, you know, just to bring back a little bit of detail in that area. I think that would really help this image out. So I'm going to take this up to about uh, 59%. I'm going to leave the edge wear on. Let's just paint over this area right here on the head like that. It just brings a little bit more detail back. And I like what's happening up in here. I'm pretty happy with that now. So let me just take this up a little further, make my brush a little smaller, and put a little more painterly effect right here. Maybe even... Maybe even a little bit more right in here. Mainly I want to take it off his eye. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm happy with that right there. So, so far so good. So we've come from here and we've gone to here. Now I really love the background and what's happening. Next up, I think we're going to add a precision contrast filter. I usually like to use this with the... Um, Impression filter because it adds a lot of nice uh, detail to the paint strokes. We'll just click on precision contrast and let's play with micro first. Now I'm not worried about the background. So whatever you see happening to the background, just forget it. I, I don't want that background to have any extra uh, contrast or any extra detail in there. But I'm only interested in this really cool looking rooster here. Okay, so now I'm going to play with some low. We're going to use layer masking to mask it on the rooster. A little bit of medium, and how about some high? Any high? Just a very little bit of high. I think that looks really good. You know, and we also have like shadow midtones and highlights if we want to. And then we have this equalization. I like to play with this. I, th I think this is called my drama adjustment here. So like low gives you like a lot of drama. Medium gives you like less drama. And high gives you more evened out less drama yet so i think medium's okay it doesn't really matter i'm not seeing much change on the rooster itself so i don't really care do we want any extra saturation in the rooster you know what i might just throw a little extra saturation in there not much and let's try the color contrast Nah, i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it off Whenever you use micro contrast, you can lose some color in those areas of micro contrast and the actual uh, color contrast slider will actually bring those uh, colors back to the micro contrast area. I don't really need that, but a little extra saturation, I think, is pretty good. I'm going to settle on that right there at a 0.25. Okay, so now what I want to do is go and add a layer mask and let's go ahead and invert the layer mask. So we take it off of everything and see all that detail left. But I like that nice soft background. I think it looks really pretty. So let's go ahead and get a brush and let's take our transparency oh, up a good ways. Let's start out at around 77 and uh, I'm going to leave the edge of wear on and let's adjust our radius here. And something like that, and maybe pull my softness in a little bit. And I'm just going to paint detail on our little rooster or big rooster. Anyway, isn't he cool? He has a lot of attitude, this rooster here. You know, he, he looks like he would rule the uh, hen house. You <laughs> see that? Look how that detail comes back. Now, I'm going to paint his little feet here. Is that what you call them? Feet? Claws? I don't know. I'm bad. I'm bad with names of things. As you know, if you watch my videos, I'm always bad with names of things. So please uh, be kind to me on that. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, so there you go. Isn't that cool? Let's see the, let's click this eye. Here's the before and here's the after. But look at that. See how the rooster just pops? It's really nice. I think one last thing I'm going to do is add a texture, which I think will really add a nice finishing touch to our rooster painting. So we're going to go to add filter and let's uh, launch the uh, texture filter. Now I have a filter in mind here and it is called concrete overlay. And it's this one, I think right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is the one. Now what I want to do is put this in the overlay blend mode. At least try it. But look at that. Oh, I love it. The finishing touch, this is going to do it. Now, we just have to decide how much do we want. The opacity is at 50 right now. We're in the overlay blend mode, so let's start to pull it up. Yeah, let's add a little bit more. Doesn't that give it a nice 
nice feel. And I like it over the rooster as well as over the background. It just adds a nice, I don't know, artistic quality to this image. Is that too much at 63? What do you think? I wish you could talk to me. Uh, maybe we could be on a Zoom uh, call or something like that. We could we could communicate, but we can't. We're on YouTube here, or I'm on YouTube. So here we go. Right there, I think that looks really, really nice. So we've come from here, and we've gone to here. This is our rooster painting. I'm really happy with this. I think it came out really nice. Let's go ahead, and if we're happy, click Accept. That'll send us back into Photoshop. And I think this little red thing right here, I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is add a blank layer above it. And uh, I'm going to get my healing brush. The shortcut for that is J. It's just really quick. Make sure you have this sample all layers checked off right there. And all I'm going to do is come down and just paint over that little thing right there. Okay, see that? Any paint over sprays like that, I can just go ahead and just clean them right up. Like right there, if I want to. Here's a little splatter out here. So, hey, it's up to you. There's a few little white spots in here. I can make my brush a little smaller. And, you know, if I don't like those, I can get rid of some of those little white spots in there. But, you know, if they're bugging you, get rid of them. I'll just get rid of a few of them. Uh, I'm not going to waste too much time on it. I'd probably go and get them all out. But I'm going to stop at that point right now. But isn't that really cool? So we've come from here, which was a really cool image, and we went to here. So a really cool rooster painting today. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't you love this rooster? I had to put a digital frame on him. Went back into Topaz Studio 2 and grabbed a quick digital frame. Hey, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know in the comments section below. I'd really love to hear from you guys. Um, also, um, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. This really helps my channel out. It helps me to grow, and I really appreciate that. Um, and if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it.